Hi, Chem students. Let's talk about percent mass. And percent mass is um, a way to look at a substance and and to measure, make a measure of its composition. And by composition, we really mean by how something is made up. It can be a pure substance, or it can be a mixture. Mixtures will be covered later on in Chapter Four, or uh, later on in any, in any particular book you're looking at. All right, so the one we'll look at today is called percent by mass, and it's going to be the mass of the percent mass of a substance and it's of the particular atoms within that substance. So we're looking at the percent mass, and we're going to be looking at how much of the total mass, okay, is due to the mass that one of the particular atoms makes. And here's the formula for it. So it's very simple. We look at the number of atoms that each of, of, of a particular type. Then we look at, then we multiply that by its atomic mass, divide by the total mass of the whole molecule, and multiply by 100, like we do with all percentages. Of course, this is best seen with a few examples, so let's do a couple. Let's start with, what is the mass percent of carbon in methane? Okay, well, methane, you should remember, is CH4. All right, and so we need to know what the molecular mass of that is. The molecular mass of methane is equal to 12.01 plus 4.04 .04 for each of those, that's for four hydrogens. I add that together, I get 16.05 grams per mole. So the percent mass of carbon in this particular case would be, there's one carbon atom in this molecule. Do you see it right there? One carbon atom. It has a mass of 12.01 grams per mole. And the total mass is 16.05 grams per mole, and of course we've got to multiply by 100. So if we do all this math, we get uh, 74.83, 74.83%. .83. That means 74.83% of, of this molecule's mass comes from the one carbon atom that's in there, all right, or from all the carbon atoms that are in there, which is just one in this case. Let's look at another example. We'll look at uh, an interesting compound called diborane. There's the formula for it. Um, the molecular mass of diborane, let's get that real quick. By the way, boron has a molecular ma an atomic mass of 10.81. There's two of those. So this has a molecular mass of 27.68 grams per mole. All right, so let's do the percent mass of boron. And in this case, there are two borons with 10.81 grams per mole as their atomic mass. The molecular mass is 27.68 or grams per mole. Multiply by 100. I'm doing the math real quick. I get 78.11. 78.11, uh, not grams per mole, but percent. Okay, so that means 78.11% of this is going to be made of boron. Hey, just for fun, even though it doesn't say so, let's find the percent mass of hydrogen in this compound. So there are six hydrogens, each with 1.01 .01 grams per mole, divided by the 27.68 grams per mole times 100. All right, so if I do this, I get 6.06. Uh, divided by 27.68, I get 21.89. Really, one, really, I get 21.9 because I'm lacking a significant figure there, but 21.89%. Now, if we add these up, if we add these two things up, this is the full composition. Everything is boron and hydrogen. If I add those up, they need to be equal to 100. So we should double check that, 21.89 plus 78.11 gives us 100 right on the nose. In other words, I did have just right there a shortcut to getting the hydrogen. I could have just subtracted us 100 less the 78.11 would have given me the percent of percent mass of hydrogen in this case. So you can always find a little shortcut there for the last atom of any one of these that you want to do.